see, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state. Your breakthrough may not come the way somebody else got their breakthrough. Your breakthrough may come a totally different way. God has given you the victory and they call it the triumph is yours. Health is a mindset. Wealth is a mindset. Prosperity is a mindset. You got to protect it. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be you what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now the word transform means transfigured. Say transfigured. transfigured. The word transfigured means to change from one state to another state. I love this. In other words, when people around you are going through certain things, you are changing in states. Here is a little caterpillar. Here's a caterpillar going on the ground. Worm on the ground. Worm on the ground. Worm. Worm. Then it goes up the line. Then it gets in a cocoon. Spin the cocoon, gets in the cocoon. A larva and all of this in the cocoon. And he's in that cocoon. And he's what? He's kicking. Pushing. He's going through metamorphosis. He's going through metamorphosis. Change it. Butterfly. It's changing. It's going inside. But you can't see the change because it's in that cocoon. And finally, caterpillar. Something happens in the cocoon. It cracks. Oh, arm come. Wing come. Finally, the caterpillar changed the state. Now it's grown. Its wings kick out. Something happened. The wing come out. Ready to what? Fly. No longer a caterpillar. No longer a worm. It's a butterfly. It's flying. All the other creeping things are looking at it. How you get up there? How you prospering? How you have good success? Because I was working on it. I was working on it all the time. I was working on it. When you didn't even know it. I was meditating the word. I was speaking the word. I was, pun I was working on it all the time. How you get there? I was working on it. See, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I knew I was different. I, I knew I wasn't like everybody around me. I knew I wasn't supposed to live in poverty. I knew I was not destined for poverty. I knew I, it was something better for my life. I knew that I wasn't bound by, by, by circumstances around me. I knew I was different. I knew I was destined for greatness. Don't be conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of the mind. Don't let the world squeeze you into its way of thinking. Transformed, transfigured by the word, by the renewing of your mind. Keep telling yourself, I know I'm different. I know I'm different. I know I'm different. You might be in the midst of challenges. You might be in the midst of situations. You might be in the midst of negativity. People don't know you. They don't understand you. I'm a pirate. I'm a giant. They don't understand. They don't understand your passion, your dream. And you say, I'm different. Keep the vision before you this year. Meditate on the way. Day and night. Meditate. He says, keep saying it. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, a new creation. So if I'm a new creation, I'm in Christ. I am a new creation. I'm superior to the enemy. I'm a new creation. I'm superior to sickness. I'm superior to poverty. I'm superior to bondage. I'm different. That's the life has been given you as a believer. He says, meditate, ponder it, mutter it, roar it. The Bible says you have to meditate. So you got to put it in your mouth. You got to talk the word of God. Yes. You got to keep speaking the word of yes. God. What good is it? Somebody said, what good is it to talk? Bishop John teaching people, talk the Bible, talk the Bible, talk the Bible. That's him telling them, talk the Bible. What good is talk, talking the Bible if they don't live it? No, 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 no. If you really start meditating and talking, it, you got to live it, baby. It will change your life. <laughs> Hallelujah.
Glory. When you, when you start talking, uh, acting like it, you talk it long enough, you talk it long enough, it'll change your attitude. You talk it long enough, it'll change your character. You talk it long enough, it'll change your lifestyle. You talk it long enough, it'll change your finance condition. If you talk it long enough, you will be a different person. I am different because of the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Better get it. Because when you hit it, there's a roar come out of you. Every time I go through the house, one day I went to the house and I was in the car. I do it in the car too. Holy Ghost, I've been meditating on the word, been meditating, you know, meditating, sputtering, speaking to myself, speaking on my breath. And all of a sudden, I am more than a conqueror. My wife sitting on the other side, she said, <laughs> and then she catches it. She said, okay, I, I got him now. I got him now. I go through the house. I'm looking in the mirror. I am who God says I am. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. See, some of you, hard to say that because the world has program you thinking that's vanity no I'm not talking about being just caught up in yourself but you got to have a value perspective of yourself look in the mirror I am abundance you abundant person you are healed you are healthy you are whole you live in prosperity money comes to you easily and effortlessly I am God's love, light, harmony, truth, beauty, abundance, and security. I am prosperous now beyond my fondest dreams. I am. I'm meditating. I'm muttering. I'm meditating. I'm muttering. And all of a sudden, I am. Oh, God. Ooh. Hit the thing. That's why he says, thou shalt meditate therein. Verse 8. Thou shalt meditate therein night and day that thou mayest what? Observe to do according. He's saying meditate so that you will do. Not meditate so you can observe. Meditate so you can observe to do. You're doing the word. You're doing the word of God is preconditioned on your meditation. And you'll find yourself doing the word of God. You'll find yourself not forsaking the assembling of yourself in the house of God. You'll find yourself paying tithes and giving offerings and planting seed. You'll find yourself loving one another as Christ loves you. You'll find yourself forgiving one another as Christ has forgave you. How do you get saved? He said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You see, it started with the mouth again, and with the heart man is made into what? Righteousness. I come back and pick that up. Joshua 1.8, let me finish this up. Observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way what? Right. What? Right. In other words, he's saying, if you do this, if you keep the word in your mouth, you keep meditating on the word, he said, it will cause you to do things the way God wants you to do them. And you won't be going doing things what you think God doing. God is never obligated to do for you what you thought he said. You got to make sure God has spoken. And when you meditate the word, when you mutter the word, it'll cause you observe to do all that is written therein. It'll cause you to do what God wants you to do. And then thou shalt make thy way what? Prosperous. Watch this. This is powerful. He said, Bishop, what do you mean meditation? Meditation. Let me tell you something. Have you ever been worried about anything? Worrying is a form of meditation. Now, I hope you get that part so we can connect it together. What's constantly on your mind, that's another form of meditation. It's just meditation going in the wrong direction. 
Then, you know, worry don't change nothing, no way. It, it, just, it just creates more uh, uh, stuff that happen in your body. Chemicals are released through that worrying, through tension, unforgiveness, all that. You see, I want to free, I'm free from that because I want to release the right endorphins in me. I want to release those chemicals in me that give me a boost in my brain and, and cause me to feel good when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> and I walk through the day. I'm speaking the word. I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. In him I live and move and have my being. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. One of the ways that how you meditate is take a verse and you can take a verse that's going to help you. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Just begin to meditate. Here's a good principle how to do it. Say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things. Things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You're getting it? Yes. See, meditate. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens, strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Me, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Meditate. Say meditate. meditate. Say keep talking the word. Talk Say keep meditating on the word now. He says it will cause you to do things the way God wants you to do them. And then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Watch this Hebrew construction of it. It says this way. It says, you shall burst forth into prosperity. Not only just make your way prosperous, but you will burst forth into prosperity. In other words, it's a sudden thing. Sudden thing. It's like a rushing flood. Breaking through. Breaking forth. Bursting forth into prosperity. In other words, there's such power that comes out of that. Ecclesiastes 11 3 it says when the clouds be full of rain they empty themselves upon the earth when they get full boom keep meditating keep meditating your heart is receiving the word keep meditating your word is coming to you you're receiving the word and suddenly it bursts forth remember Proverbs 11 9 it says through knowledge shall the just be delivered Meditation calls the word of God to reside in you. Colossians 3.16, it tells us, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, richly, richly. Keep it in your heart. And at the appointed time, at the appointed time, he said you will burst forth into prosperity. You will suddenly burst forth and have good success. People say, how you doing? How you doing? I'm working on something. I'm in training. I'm working on my hooks. and I'm working on my straight jabs. and I'm working on my, on my feet work. <laughs> Walk like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Glory to God. You know, I'm working. I'm working on. I'm working on. I'm meditating. I'm meditating. I'm working on something. I'm working on something. Just give me a little while. Just give me a little time. Say this with me. I'm a success. I'm a success. Say it again. I'm a Say it again. I'm a Stop brooding over your past. Your past was perfect preparation to get you where you're going. And no matter what happened in your past, you have a spotless future. Stop brooding over your mistakes. Stop brooding over your mistakes. The Bible said brood over the word of God. Or meditate the word. Make your way prosper. Are you ready to have prosperity and good success? Stand to your feet right now and shout, I am. You see, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state.